Hello everyone and today I'm going to show you how you can anonymously browse the internet for free without leaving a trace on it. Now this is a pretty cool thing to do and you can stop websites doing things like tracking your location and also storing sensitive information such as your IP address. So let's get started. What we're going to need is a software package called Tor Browser. Now this can be run on any computer I believe and can also be stored on a USB drive if you want to use on multiple computers. But to get this we just need to head over to their website and once again it's called Tor Browser. I'll leave the link in the description if you just want to head over to there. And it will bring you over to this website here. Now it's um, it's got quite a lot of stuff on their website where you might want to use it and who uh, might want to use it as well. But um, once you've decided that you do or don't want it let's just head over to download. And then press download Tor Browser Bundle. Now I've already got this so I can just cancel this download for the moment but once you've got this you'll just have to extract an archive. This is pretty simple to do. Um, if you don't know how to do it I'm sure a quick Google search will help you find out but uh, once you've done that you should have a folder similar to this called Tor Browser. Now once you open this up there's a few folders within it but there's also a shortcut to this application here that says Start Tor Browser. So let's just open this up and as you can see we have a uh, this application open and we have a progress bar coming across and what this is it's um, connecting to a server that will uh, essentially allow us to browse the internet anonymously now uh, this basically works by passing our connection through lots of other computers similarly to a proxy and it will make anyone else think that we are running off a different computer and because of that they won't know where we are and also any of our information such as our IP address. And as you can see here we have what our public IP address uh, is and if you don't trust this you can head over to a website. So if I just search what is my IP. And for this to work by the way you'll have to use this uh, built in browser that's came which is just another version of Firefox. But if I just open up a page here it should say uh, what just came up a second ago for what our IP address is. Now this may be slightly slower than your normal web browser as it, is, uh, it isn't just going straight to the internet you're going through a different computer but as you can see it thinks that I'm in Germany with the IP address 31.172.30.1 and I'm definitely not living in Germany at the moment I'm in the UK but um, so as you can see this works very well. But uh, if you've just been using the internet for uh, quite a while and you don't want to just have to close Tor Browser and open it again, you can just open it up here and press Use a New Identity. And as you can see, we get a pop-up here. And if we refresh this page, and once this loads, we should be able to see that we have a different IP address and yeah as you can see it now thinks that I'm in the Netherlands and I have a totally different IP address so as I'm sure you can imagine this allows for much more secure browsing and can also allow you to access sites that you may not have been able to do before. Now just a few tips if you're using this. Uh, it gives you a lot of advice on their Tor browser page but um, uh, basically what it says is if you download a program make sure that you uh, switch off your internet before you open or install it because uh, if you're trying to do it anonymously and you open it it isn't within the Tor browser so it will just go directly through your standard internet connection so that uh, may be something you want to consider. But that's uh, the basics of how, how to browse anonymously on the web without leaving much of a trace at all. Now your ISP can obviously still track a lot of your information regardless of what you do but this can still help a lot and as far as uh, once you get past your ISP and out to the internet this pretty much stops anyone at all from tracking you. So I hope you enjoyed this, if you have any suggestions or comments please leave them below. I'd appreciate it if you left a like rating but um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.